Hello everyone. I thought of recording this video to help uh, the beginners like who would like to uh, get into the streaming uh, using the Raspberry Pi. So one thing where I got stuck initially where I was trying to set up the Raspberry Pi as a streamer is writing the Moody audio uh, player into the SD card. So uh, even now I was just helping one of my friend who is in a different city and he couldn't get it written properly into the SD card so I thought of recording this video uh, mainly for him and also I believe it will be helpful for many others who is just trying to get it done and start with the Raspberry Pi as a streamer here what you can see is a uh, in my setup, uh, I got the Raspberry Pi and the uh, Digimon signature board on top of Raspberry Pi, uh, uh, which is from the Allo, a company called Allo, uh, which is manufactured in India. And yeah, so uh, maybe I'll explain in detail about the Digimon signature board uh, in a different video in detail um, but now we will focus on how to write the moody audio player into an sd card let's get started what we need mainly to get this done is a the main part is a micro sd card you should get a micro sd card to use with the raspberry pi uh not a normal sd card or something different and here you can see that i've gone for a 16 gig card i recommend you going for a 16 gig um initially i used a 4 gig card um but the thing is like uh, there is no much price difference when you're comparing the price for 16 gig with the 8 gig or 4 gig card and also if you're going for a 16 gig or more like you can save the music files within the SD card itself and the other one what I've got here is a card reader this is a pretty old card reader what I've got in my cupboard so you can buy this one from eBay or any of the mobile shops also this one has got the multiple cards which can read different types of cards so here you can see at the bottom there is a mic tiny micro sd slot the tiny slot we are going to use that one and i'm going to use plug the card reader into my desktop you can use your laptop okay and the next thing what you need to do is like installing the software to write the mode audio player into the sd card we will look into that one in detail next uh, how to install the software in your laptop or desktop and how to get this one done I'll show you how to download the Moody Audio image file from the internet. Uh, just uh, open your internet explorer or chrome, type Moody Audio in the search bar and click search. It will take you to the moodyaudio.org website. You can see the download link and the features listed below. You can read the features if you would like to know in detail about what the player is capable of and just click the download link it will start downloading the file uh, for me it's showing like uh, almost four minutes to download it's almost a 1.5 gig file uh, so it's definitely it will depend on your internet speed so so now it's only two minutes left. Mm. 
yeah few more seconds it's going pretty good yeah so once it is downloaded open the file location i'm just waiting yeah it's done so just open the file location uh copy the file to a different location i'm just copying it to a desktop creating a new folder because if it's in the downloaded folder like you may get confused if you have got too many files already there so just create a new folder with modi audio image as a name and copy the file into that folder and unzip the content into the same location i'm just using the winrar software which is pre installed in my computer you can use the winsafe or winrar whatever it is to extract the content into the same location so once it is extracted you will get the image file you can see already in the screen uh the first file modi audio modi hyphen r701 hyphen iso yeah so i deleted the second file the zip file we don't need that one anymore just not to get confused while writing the file that's done now i'll show you how to download the image writing software i'm using the w32 disk imager software so in your search and just type w32 disk imager click the first link sound for not sound for sourceforge.net i uh, you can see the green button to download uh, so click the download button it will start downloading uh, i don't think it's a huge file it's only 12 mb it's a lightweight software so yep so install the file which is downloaded click accept the agreement you have to accept the agreement and uh, i'm just keeping the installation location the same um if you want you can change the name here folder name just create click the create a desktop shortcut it'll be easy for you and click install it's cute you can uncheck the view readme.txt and click next uh that's the software so yeah you're done with that one I got the micro SD card inserted into the card reader. Yep, and now I'm just going to plug the card reader to my desktop. Now it's time to write the Moody Audio image into the SD card we plugged using the card reader. So. You can see that in my system it's the usb drive e it will be a different drive alphabet e f o g in your system depends on how many disk partitions already existing in your system so right click on the usb card reader and click format and choose the file system as fat32 go for a quick format click ok and it's done so remember to do this uh don't forget to do the formatting the sd card and now open the win32 disk image software which we downloaded and installed in the previous step click the source file and select the mori audio image file which we saved in the desktop in a separate folder yep open that one and it's the right button we have to click but before clicking uh, let's verify again uh, you can see that under the device it's e 
So if, if you have like multiple USB drives or something, make sure the SD card is the same drive E. You should not write the image into a separate uh, thumb drive or something which plugged into your system. So once it is confirmed, you can go for clicking the right button. You can here yeah, it's saying like like uh, writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. That's okay. We are writing to them. Write SD card. So it's fine. Just click the S. Yes. Yeah, and it will start writing the image into the SD card. So it will take around 12 minutes or 13 minutes. So what I will do here is like uh, I'll fast forward this process. Yep. Yeah. So like we reached uh, 98, 99 yeah so actually it takes 12 minutes time i just did the fast forward yeah so that's it's all done uh the right is successful here it's all done now and it's ready so you can unplug the card reader and take the sd card out and the card is ready to use in your raspberry pi I'm sure there are many more experts who have got much more knowledge than me. Uh, if you're finding any better options uh, to do this, like uh, you can uh, comment below under this video. I just thought of recording the this video uh, to help one of my friend and I just wanted to make it as simple as possible with the step-by-step -step instructions. Um, this is uh, something the same thing where I got stuck uh, when I was totally new to the Raspberry Pi. So I hope this will help a lot of people who are struggling to do this. Thank you everyone.